All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Forgiven Gaming YouTube channel. This is actually going to be the second and last video of the Meet the Group Iron Man. As you can see in the background, we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This was uh, Jester's pick. We're going to get to him here in a second. But um, I wanted to let you guys know this is going to be coming out. This video will be coming out Tuesday, I believe. Just shut that guy's hat. Um, so expect... We're going to try and get the balls rolling on Group Iron Man pretty quick. So expect a video probably uh, Wednesday evening, maybe Thursday at latest. Um, and then I'm probably going to be alternating Group Iron Man episodes and uh, hardcore episodes. So you guys will have every Sunday an upload um, and then a little bit of uh, mixed content. We're still kind of up in the air as to what we're going to do for the Group Iron Man, uh, especially since we only have three players. So uh, we are in talks about how we're going to adjust that, what we're going to do. Uh, if you guys have anything that you'd like to see, uh, leave a comment down below, let us know, um, and we will uh, adjust fire accordingly. So, without further ado, uh, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the uh, then last member of the Forgiven Gaming Squad. So, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thanks. We're, uh, we're just doing it live. Okay, well, I am Forgiven Jester, and that is obviously an ironic name because I'm not funny. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm new here. The new guy. You know what's funny though is, so Oracle actually thinks that you're fucking hilarious. Well, that just says something about her sense of humor. See, see, I told you the boat leaves without us. But, oh, this is new. I, I told you. Has never done that before. Okay, well, ugh, we're <laughs> doing it live. Yes. It live. Okay. Th this is the this is the beauty of live commentary. You guys are getting all of this. Um, so Jesser, go ahead and uh, tell us what do you do for a living? If you if you don't mind telling us, if you if you want to keep that a secret, keep that a secret. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe as long as nobody hunts me down. Now I'm a I'm a cop. Now I'm, I'm I'm that cop. I'm a deputy, deputy sheriff down at Sunshine State. So I get to fight Florida man. It's a pretty noble battle. They tend to be winning most of the time. Not not really winning. Just there's more of them. There's more Florida mans than there are deputies. So. You happen to be watching this and you need a job come be a deputy so i have to ask um with that whole like florida man kind of i don't know if i would call it a stigma or stereotype a stereotype i guess is a good word for it um how true is that stereotype of the florida man i missed um well let, let me just put it in terminal let, let me just put it in context okay Last week, I responded to a call where somebody driving down the interstate was telling me that Joe Biden was eating babies. Okay. Yeah. I think the first Florida Man article I ever read um, or was was turned on to was the bath salts, like the zombie bath salts guy. Uh, if you guys don't know, that I'm kind of, I guess, maybe dating myself on that one. It, it wasn't that long ago. That was a nice time. Uh, yeah. um, that was actually down in Miami. There you go. Well, Dexter's territory. Didn't know how to party down there. All right, so um, the next question I have is, uh, what's your background in video games? So with this, it's going to be like, um, I guess the, the, the question here, the first question has to be asked, what was the first video game that you ever saw? And then what was the first video game that you ever played? Ooh, first video game that I ever saw. It's probably the same one that you have, the first video game you ever saw, which is so obscure. I don't know if, if you remember this or not, but it was some obscure I know what we're talking about. Um, and, oh gosh, I, I don't even know the name of it. I know it wasn't uh, it was probably good for its time. It's just I wasn't into drag racing back then. You know, I was like uh, like six. I don't know. It's not. It, it definitely wasn't six, but not at a point where I thought drag racing was, was cool or video game worthy. That's how I feel but, now. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's definitely not video game worthy. You know, you can, I, no, that's as far as I'm going to go with that one. But, uh, yeah, no, it, was, it was some drag racing game. But I think the first ones that we actually played, it, this is kind of, oh gosh, we're dating ourselves here. But it was either between Halo, which I definitely remember us playing a lot of, or Grand Theft Auto uh, Vice City. Because we got we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto Three at the same time. I forgot about that. Um, the, the classics, yeah. So I guess I should kind of explain the dynamics between me and Jester. So Jester and myself are actually brothers. So a lot of our questions uh, on this are actually going to be the same. But I do actually differ with you on this one. Um, the first game I ever remember playing is our oldest brother. Um, 
This is this is literally like the oldest uh, memory I ever have of any video game. Um, whenever we were real, real young, still living in Washington, um, which obviously by the accents you guys can tell that we do not live in Washington. Um, the but our oldest brother ended up getting burnt pretty uh, pretty severely and ended up uh, in the hospital. And while he was in the hospital, and I, I actually remember this, it's kind of a weird story, but I remember uh, he was playing a Donkey Kong game where they were in a mine car. It was, it was Donkey Kong and, and uh, like the younger brother or the nephew or whatever, I think Diddy Kong might be his name. Um, oh gosh, that is, okay. They were in a mine car, I remember that. Uh, I. I don't remember much beyond that, but I literally fucking remember being, I mean, this is how petty you are whenever you're a child. I remember being jealous that he got burnt because he got to play video games. We didn't have a console. We didn't actually end up getting a console until uh, probably into our teenage years almost. Um, it was, maybe it wasn't that. Friends. <laughs> what was it they had? A GameCube? Man, I always wanted a GameCube. Yeah. I never uh, got one. What was, the, what was the thing we, uh, the... Melee. Super Smash Bros. Melee was the game that was played. Well, it was actually the original Super Smash Bros. Melee came out like a year after we started bombing video games off our friends. And then the... We did, though, get Nintendos. We got we got to play some Pokemon back in our younger years. We did. The, the Game Boy. I want to say the first Game Boy that we had was the Game Boy Color. Like, we weren't old school yeah. enough to have Game Boy Black and White. I remember that because it only came in two colors despite its name, and that was green and purple. Um, and yeah, you ended up with the green one. Oh, uh, yep. well, audio just lagged. Oh, audio is still lagging. All right. Um, and then the the first two games that I remember us having, for some reason, you and I differ on this. Uh, literally, I remember. I want to say it was whenever the parents came home with uh, a PlayStation Two. I want to say, and they had. Uh, two games and it was us uh, oh i'm hot uh scooby-doo night of 100 frights and madden nfl 2005 or 2003 something to that effect uh, remember the scooby-doo game that one was that's that's the earliest game i remember actually playing i i remember us having that but uh, i i remember one of our older brothers this man is hovering on a chimney Actually, no, he's just hovering in the air. Okay. Oh, oh we're missing boats here. Oh, I think I just took the hat. Anyways, what I were you saying? Was... Uh, Tommy. You're talking about Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, he ended up... He always came over. And I remember he had Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And I thought we played it on his console until the point that, that we got our own console. And then got to play that as well and that very well could have been i mean that sounds about right and i definitely do remember him coming over with that that xbox all the time because i think halo is what turned me on to xbox yeah halo is what turned everybody on to xbox hey, hey, that's, that's why consoles are still existing yeah, i i fully believe that without halo xbox would not be a thing or at least not would not be it'd be relegated to like the same level of, of popularity as uh, like a Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah. yeah nobody, nobody plays Nintendo. It's like one step above phone games is Nintendo. Yeah. If they didn't have the classics of Mario and Pokemon, like, oh, there goes my hat. I'm going to pick that back up. It's going into the ocean. There you go. Can't get back in cover. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, that, I mean, if it wasn't for the classics of, I, I don't know, I think even Sonic is Nintendo, but I don't know a lot of people that like Sonic. The movie is probably the best adaptation, but I don't know. Have you watched the it's Sonic movie? Actually, I did watch the Sonic movie. How was that? It was okay. You know, I, as, as far as video game movies, like I said, it was the best adaptation. I didn't watch the Assassin's Creed movie. I wanted to, but I... I can't imagine it did well. I never heard anybody talk about it. Like, there was a lot of hype leading up to it, and then as soon as it came out, I just nobody was hyping it up anymore, so that just kind of tells me it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, 
All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next question. Uh, and then and I guess this uh, is kind of the explanation as to why we're playing this. So what is your favorite video game or top three favorite video games? I'm, I'm gonna go with the top three. So obviously number one is the original. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the original Red Dead Redemption. But this is obviously the, the improved graphics and everything. This is where it's gone. So we, I like this game. This is this is up there. This I I'm just putting those two together. It's Red Dead Redemption, one universe, one one thing. Um, and then number two. Oh gosh, that was, I like State of Decay. The original State of Decay more than State of Decay two. Again, I don't know how to. I'm starting to sound like a hipster. Or this is just you know the wrong wrong answers here. Maybe I'm just old and salty now that I only like the original games. But State of Decay, the original, especially with its DLC, is up there. And I'm gonna have to go with Far Cry two. That the original. That's a surprise to me. The Far Cry two. Three. Yeah. Really, Far Cry 2, I, by far, if you've ever played the Far Cry series, Far Cry 2 is the best one. They should have, they should have stuck more with that and the path they did go down. There are just so many better things about Far Cry 2 than, than any Far Cry since. That's probably, you know, as a haunting. Not everybody agrees with me, I understand that, but that's because they're wrong. <laughs> there you go. It's because they're wrong. You heard it here first, boys. Um... All right, so you said Red Dead Redemption, two, uh, one and two, but one more than two. State of Decay, uh, one and two, but one more than two. And fuck me, I, you literally just said it, and I forgot it. Far Cry. Far Cry, Far Cry two. two. Yeah. So okay, a lot yeah. of twos. Um, yeah. Well, no. well, I mean, yeah, but one's more than twos. But did well, you ever Far play Cry the original like Far Cry? Eight game. Uh, I. I think I tried it out because it was free, but it's it's a lot different. There's like mutants. It's kind of yeah. it's kind of like how Red Dead Revolver was to Red Dead Redemption versus you know, Far Cry Far Cry Two because there's like you, you have to escape an island. There's mutants. It's it's a whole thing. Very PlayStation Two kind of era. Yeah. Um, okay, so then the next question would be. Uh, how long? Have, all right, so th then this actually is going to come back into RuneScape. We'll put a uh, like a timestamp at the beginning, like a little thing to where we actually get into the uh, RuneScape discussion, and that's going to be now. Um, so, how long have you been playing RuneScape, and what originally got you into it? Now, this one's a lot easier. Um, I remember y you actually got me into RuneScape. Obviously, you and all your buddies peer pressured me into playing this game that we originally pronounced as RunEscape, and that was wrong. That was only for like a day though. That's, that's, <laughs> that's ancient. But I was, I, I was finishing, this was back in 2000, Christ, that was a close one. <sighs> 2002, 2003, was, I was in third grade. And I think we had, we had found out about this All gaming right. site, which is ancient. And I think we looked it up the other day to see if it still existed and it did, but it was called Mini Clip. And it was what you did after you got done with your typing assignment. So our older brother, told us about the website so it kind of started propagating through elementary school and uh and so you were the first one to click on the game and then you started telling us about it and we, we all built our little characters and started kind of getting into it way back then and uh kind of chose our own paths so i remember you always did the swords i did the archery and then then our other brother did magic yeah he was better than it uh better at it than us back then for sure um back then man i thought uh, i thought my like skill that i got in the 70 i don't even remember if i did get a skill in the 70 but that was like gold you know because runescape back in 2003 2002 uh up to like 2005 whatever it was i forgot what years we were playing but back then that was like like we have old school RuneScape now, and a lot of the viewers. Um, oh, actually, what's kind of funny is in one of my videos, I have the analytics, and every single one of the viewers, there's like ten thousand views on there, or whatever. This is not some weird flex, but what I'm saying is like the algorithms there, and it shows the uh, the ages, and one hundred percent, literally one hundred percent of the ten thousand viewers on that are males aged between. I want to say it's um, 
is 19 and 29 or 25 and 30 something to that effect uh, or 25 and 34 I don't know how I forgot how it um, separates those but yeah like literally 100% so people that are watching those videos probably did play back in 2005 so if <laughs> if what's up this, this goes back to us just being a bunch of salty old people that you know the runescape 3 no that's too new that's too new we can't drink we, we can't <laughs> play that one I'm not gonna lie I do not like RuneScape 3. I think I played it. I think I don't know. I don't even think they had Tutorial Island, but there was something about a lady and there were zombies and it I, became I'll a thing. Tell you, I'll tell you what my problem with RuneScape 3 was. And this is this is a petty thing, but I worked really hard. I got my level 99 in Fletching and I was so proud of it. And then RuneScape 3 came out and all my progress got moved over to RuneScape 3. And it was basically deleted off old school RuneScape, and so they they because I got forced into playing it, I decided against it. I wasn't about that life. I, I wanted, I wanted the the same graphics, the same character, everything I had done uh, to be the same, and it wasn't. So I was upset, <laughs> and, and that's there's there's no justification for it. If there was, I, I don't make change. I guess if there was one skill that is in RuneScape three. That you could bring into to OSRS, what would it be? You know, oh gosh, I haven't. I mean, really, the only one that I oh no, there are two that I know, and I was about to go with the wrong answer here. Oh, uh, so I think I know what um, it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I would, I would definitely bring in dungeoneering. Dungeoneering, yep. Because the other one that you were about to say was summoning. Yep. But yeah, because the only the only ones I remember are uh, summoning and dungeoneering for sure. I'm I'm gonna take that drink. Um. Yeah, summoning and dungeoneering, I remember. Uh, well, actually, realistically, I don't even remember dungeoneering that much. I definitely do remember uh, summoning. I, I remember dungeoneering. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was near... Like, that was... I had taken a break from playing the game for a long time. A long time. And then I got back into it, and I saw dungeoneering. It was this this little thing I want to say it was up by the wilderness or maybe it was up in the wilderness or maybe it had nothing to do with the wilderness it's just been that long since since I've played anything to do with it but uh, I you know I, I started playing that and I just thought it was really cool the way that you had to have certain skills I don't know which one of these these <laughs> options here says I, sit I think it's, it's why I think mine said okay. sip <laughs> I wasn't the only one here having problems. Yeah. But yeah, no, there was definitely a, a solid gap of time there before I before Dungeoneering was out. And whenever I played it, it was just so cool. Because I didn't, you know, I only had the 199 skill. So if you ever needed me to fletch anything, which literally I'm pretty sure never came up in Dungeoneering, that was like not a useful skill to get through anything. I remember summoning was useful. Magic, obviously useful. Wood cutting and fire making, huge and, and being useful. They could have changed it by now. But, um, don't mind me, I'm just giving text messages. But yeah, I would definitely bring back Dungeoneering. So it sounds like, from, from the descriptions that you've given me, it sounds like Dungeoneering um, is actually what, like, Chambers of Zarek or, like, Raids 1 is. I don't know what, uh, I, I think it's, I want to say that's kind of the same aspect. You go in, um, everyone has different... I've not done any Chambers of Zerg. I've not done any raids. But you, like, go in. If you have a, a higher, like, farming skill or herbal skill, then you can grab different uh, things. You can make potions for your team. And then you go into the room, complete the encounter there, and you move on until you get to the boss. Um, that sounds pretty similar to engineering. I don't think there were any bosses in it. That's probably the biggest thing. Like, your whole mission was just to get through this maze. There could have been bosses. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I know you, so it was like every time that you passed a level, you went to a deeper level. And so if you ever successfully passed all of it, there was probably something big at the end. I never made it that far. Dude, I never, I never did anything back in the game. Like never killed Jad, never did it. The stuff that I've done now, like 12 year old me would have never imagined doing. All right, so then the next question that we have, uh, if you're done with that, are you done with that one? Do you think we've answered that one pretty yeah, thoroughly? Yeah, let's, yeah no, let's, let's move on. I was 
I'm remembering stuff now of, of the old days. Yeah. The salty old man, that's what we are. Uh, so then, uh, what do you bring to the group? Um, whenever you're in the group, what are you going to bring? And uh, what will your role in the group be? Oh. No, I mean, I got, you know, I got that time. Um, you know, it, it, because, because we're kind of at that point where we only have three people, we're trying to figure out exactly... I, I think we're kind of all trying to figure out exactly where we're coming in on this one. So I don't know how, how your interview with Oracle went. Maybe she's got a better idea. But I think we're filling some holes right now. So uh, I know, I know, or at least you know, my, my guess here is that you're going to be a lot better with the combat stuff. You kind of have, you've got ticks and all that stuff figured out. I think I'm a little more casual playing games than you are. So I'll probably do the non-combat skills more like crafting you know i like the uh Fine. the the fishing goes well with cooking so i think those are two easy ones that i would definitely boost up just to give you enough food to actually work on your combat it's gonna have a lot of chicken combat's definitely gonna be one of those ones i focus on later i definitely plan on getting um at least i i plan on pushing off combat for a little while Oh wow, you're going ham. Yeah, that's, that's how I dance in real life too. Yeah, me too. Same. Um, actually I take up a lot of room whenever I'm dancing. You saw it on the cruise ship. Fucking I I I move. I'm a mobile dancer. <laughs> Not a good one, but a mobile one. That checks out. Um so then what are your what are your por- your personal goals in playing for uh, playing in a group? And you kinda answered this one, being like uh, kind of the support character. Um, plus, yeah, I think support's a solid. Way that's a. Uh, it's kind of a hard question to ask, or it, it's kind of a hard question to answer here because um, you have. Oh, man, I'm playing with a band. That's one of my daily challenges. It's kind of a hard one to, to guess because we did have like a last minute fucking uh, change to the, to the group dynamic to where we had four players and and we kind of had some challenges planned out for that, uh, but obviously you know that changed so. Um, we're kind of trying to pick up some pieces here. We're trying to figure out what our uh, what our roles will be, and then uh, from roles we can uh, distinguish our goals. Um, and then the last, because because the way that I'm looking at it right now is we kind of have three roles filled up. We have um, the academic, the the jock, and the fool. Um, and sorry, sorry, Oracle, if you're watching this, um, but she's going to be the fool. She has intentionally like learned as little about the game as possible in order to make that aspect, I guess, kind of funny um, and kind of be very viewer driven. So a lot of people like leave comments below on these videos. Uh, anytime you see like a group Iron Man video, um, leave a comment below uh, to help guide Oracle. <laughs> and hopefully, I mean, I want to see what these comments are going to be because some of them might be like, oh, go out in the wilderness and there's going to be, you know, the stuff that we got into whenever we were kids, like go out in the wilderness, you can, oh. you can steal people's stuff or like you, trimming armor, you know? Oh gosh, trimming armor! I remember that. I lost, whew, I lost a lot of money to those. <laughs> Same. I think we made a lot. Black plate bodies. Uh, yeah, you, I, you're not wrong. I mean, it, this. As far as trimming armor goes, you only lose so much money before you start trimming it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm adding, adding jewels to people's swords. Oh, I forgot about oh, yeah. that. I'm really drunk. Was this guy's head of pumpkin? Oh. Uh, not. Yes. Is it? Oh, they really jumped on the Halloween theme early, didn't they? Yeah, it's heads of pumpkin for sure. You'll see it in the uh, you'll see it in the recording if you watch the. Uh... Oh, I crouch. That's not it. Yeah, if, if you watch the video, you'll see it in the recording. His head's definitely a pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, is I don't think this is my gothic theme, so it's weird that they jumped on the Halloween theme so fast. Yeah. Um, and then sure the, going into the last question here, and I guess kind of wrapping this video up because this is going to be a long one. Um. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to talk, uh, tell the fans, the community, or in, or the other members of the Forgiven? So basically, like a, a message you'd like to maybe like a challenge or anything that you'd like to deliver to Oracle. Uh, ooh, you know, t- jump jumping on that one, a challenge for Oracle. As as much as I'd like to, you know, I think this is just a nice starting point. You know, we're we're listing out our goals and, and how we think stuff is going to go, and it's absolutely not. It's not going to do anything <laughs> that we think. It, I think it's going to be a lot different once once we hit the ground and things start rolling. I think 
everything that we've planned out. I mean, obviously, we had a last minute change already, so that's why fishing is a nice opening. Yeah. yeah. I So this is... What I like about Group Iron Man is I think that this was the way that the game was supposed to be played. Uh, or at least this is the way that I've always uh, imagined the game being played. This is kind of the way that I've always wanted it to be played. And I think this is going to be really fun to get into. Yeah. But yeah. Any, anything you want to like tell the community or the fans? Um, well, enjoy the ride and watch as, as everything just blows up in our face. And we're leaving everything in there. This is going to be unedited. You're going to see the fucking banter between us. You're going to see the the, the language. And I'm, I'm interested to see if you guys will see it with Oracle. Oracle generally watches her mouth pretty pretty, um, pretty um, closely. So, you know, if you ever see her, like, let out some swear words, you, you, know, you guys are getting a little peek behind the scenes. You're getting a little peek through the cracks. Um, and, and for anybody that can't tell, uh, this is not just Iceman or... They're, they're, Nomad talking to himself. <laughs> we are two different people. Apparently, people can't tell the difference in our voices. Apparently, our voices are pretty similar. So I want to make sure that uh, I, I walk over you in the middle of that sentence, so that uh, so that there's two of us talking. Well, I mean, hell, there's two of us walking around too. So I got two controllers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was about to say I actually have two controllers right next to me. I just didn't get the money for two Xboxes nowadays. Those they're going for like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, so I think that wraps up the interview. Um, we're going to get this video out. And, yeah, everyone look forward to some group Iron Man content. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. And um, we're hoping to see the, the community grow. Um, and, yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. Let us know what uh, what you guys are feeling. I don't know. Do the outro. <laughs>